Hey guys, what's going on? Today I'm gonna show you guys what a good core routine is for all your runners out there. So let's get to it. All right, so first what we're gonna start off with are some planks. And uh, I'm actually gonna do them, all right guys? I'll go through the pain with you guys. We're gonna do four minutes and 30 seconds worth of plank. All right, so that's 45 seconds on each side. We're gonna rotate 45 on the front 45 on the right, 45 on the left. Do that, what was that, three times? Three times? Three times. All right, boys. Minute 15. Go ahead and sweep. All right, and the key thing here on planks, is make sure you're flexing your abs while you're doing them. And that'll make it harder. And if you're really good at these already, hey, you have to wait for the next bit, but whew, these are hard, man. Every day, bro. Every day, consistency. You do it maybe three, five times a week. Man, you're gonna have abs of steel. 215, we gotta switch. We gotta switch. Ooh. All right. The major key here is to just stay focused. You know, when it gets hard, you know, just think about something else, think about Think about the end, all right? Motivate yourself somehow, all right? And you'll get through it, all right? It's all part of a plan, okay? This will bring you to the D1 level, guys. Nine, 10 minutes of core every day. It'll help you out significantly. If it doesn't, you can, you can write me some mad text, emails. You can fax me your freaking complaints, but man, this is proven to work. Proven by scientists in China. Oh, oh I accidentally, accidentally split my watch. But uh, we're getting it. It's all about the form, guys. And you know, don't worry. You're not gonna see results instantly, all right? I'm gonna tell you up front right now. You're not gonna see results instantly. All right, you gotta work hard. You gotta work hard for these abs, all right? You can get abs like these. <laughs> you don't want too many abs or else you'll be too strong, you know? You wanna keep it minimal, or else you have too much weight right here. And off centers your running, and it's like, what? And three, two, one, and we're done, all right. All right, so the next thing we wanna do are some crunches. I like to do about 75 crunches front, 30 crunches on the side, and 30 crunches on the other side, all right? Let's get to it. You know, I was thinking another positive thing about doing crunches and abs, you get you get the abs and you know, it doesn't just help out your running, but it helps you out with the ladies, all right? And if you're a female, it's gonna help you out with the males too. Don't worry. Game big, game big, games, games. Twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. Oh. All right, guys. So that's we're almost there. That's not even it. That's not that's not all of it, guys. We're almost there though. So the next thing that we're gonna do are some toe touches. All right. But, uh, hopefully this is a good angle. Uh, I don't really know. Uh. Yeah, so let me know if this is a good angle in the comments below if you like this angle or not, but we'll see. So you put your toes all the way up in the sky, and you know I do about 50 of them, usually with a med ball. But I don't have a med ball at home, so that's all right. touch is easy as pie and you know there's more things you can do but you know you don't need too much of a core 
If you incorporate some med ball with that and some Russian twists, that's an optional one you can add. Do about 50 Russian twists. I'm not gonna do it because I'm exhausted, but I am gonna do some push-ups. I do about 20 push-ups and call it there. That's, you don't need no upper body, but 20 push-ups. Gotta look good for the females, so. Let's get those in. Crank those out, baby. Let's crank them. Oh, okay. Do that every day, maybe five times a week if you're new. And hey, you'll get you'll get abs like these. You'll get abs like these. All right, so that's it guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Remember to like and subscribe and follow me on Instagram. Also follow Nick on Instagram and you can follow us on Twitter as well. So we'll see you next time.